It's saying, you know, Australia should drop its Cold War mentality. Uh, what message do you think that's really sending? Well, China seems to think that nobody notices how they behave when it comes to military conduct and activities uh, or engagement uh, with those causing disruption around the world and that they can just uh, put on a peaceful veneer uh, and lecture a country like Australia about how we are approaching national security. The reality is that countries uh, are right to look at uh, with concern some of China's actions. And if China wants uh, to be viewed in a different way, then it should cease being so confrontational with the Philippines. It should cease when a parliamentary delegation visits Taiwan, for example, responding with huge military activity and the firing of missiles uh, over land uh, in, quite, in such confrontational ways. It should cease engaging uh, in military cooperation uh, with a country like Iran in the midst of a period of time when Iran is sponsoring uh, such terrorist activities and atrocities and in the last week has undertaken direct military strikes and action uh, against uh, Israel. So there are a range of ways where China could change its behaviour that may then justify the rest of the world having a different outlook or approach. Uh, but the reality is China is behaving in ways through its military build-up, as you referenced, and the way in which it uses and conducts those military operations and activities that are cause for concern and therefore necessitate strong, clear defence strategy and significant defence investment, of which the Albanese government sadly is failing to step up to the degree that they should. Do you think China's also referencing, uh, or I guess warning, that Australia shouldn't get too close to the US? Well, there's always a subtext or the like uh, there in some of China's remarks. Uh, what we welcome is United States presence in the region um, in a way uh, that helps to ensure stability across the region. Stability underpinned by deterrence from any conflict and that deterrence requires uh, us all to have um, strong defences and that can deter any type of escalation by China or anyone else into uh, an activity or environment that creates the opportunity for conflict. Now, the Albanese government has made some $80 billion worth of cuts, deferrals, delays to defence programs and expenditure. Uh, that's completely unacceptable and heading in the wrong direction. This week, uh, the announcement uh, is uh, an opaque one uh, with little clarity about uh, where defence spending is going and even less clarity about which programs are being cut. Uh, and the government needs to be far more honest and direct with Australians and Australian defence industry uh, about the priorities it is building and it needs to act with far greater urgency in the way in which it is investing to, uh, to achieve those outcomes.